stand on your feet, everyone. In one second, thank you for quick understanding. Thank you for quick understanding. Thank you for quick understanding. Thank you for the quick understanding. Thank you. Father, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor. We welcome you, King of Kings. Thank you for a choice to communicate in your mind intelligently and accurately and correctly. That in all who have a record to say, Hallow be to your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. And then, while you are standing, can we celebrate grace? Daddy Abone, I'm so grateful for this opportunity. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. As a matter of fact, the first upon Daddy's life is from activated into the supernatural. When the annals of history is written about my life, he will be the first that was standing in the epitaph using his language of the, the personal act that me into the supernatural. 2015, I'll forget that date, 26th of September in Chase Hotel. Can we celebrate Jesus for his life? You can have a seat. You can have a seat. Please listen to Jesus. 2016, we are having what you call the Walker Season down there, where Daddy's house is now. And that 2016 is when my mom left to be with Jesus' glory. And the Walker Season was going on, I sat down thinking, who is going to help my family? Why I was thinking, God slipped my mind. Suddenly I went into a trance. Why is it down there? God said, You are looking for a savior. You are looking for a savior. I've raised you as one. I've raised you as one. If anything happens to your mind, the enemy is attacking your mind. If anything happens to your mind, your family will be right off. But what you are looking for is already in you. You spot is in you to help your family. Suddenly, so I got myself. I looked at everybody. Everybody was busy listening to what is going on. But for me, you are looking for a savior. You are looking for a savior. I've raised you as one. When that is said, I'm going to minister, I remember that day. It is not just message, but a prophetic first point to activate something in my life. You are looking for a savior. I've raised you as one. Well. Today, we're going to talk about the emergence of saviors. How does saviors emerge? I'm not sharing what I'm not experiencing. I'm sharing what I'm functioning. How does saviors, does what emerge? How does saviors, does what the emergence of what? Saviors. Do with me. Galatians 1, 11 and 12. Then 15 and 16. Galatians 1, 11 and 12. Because of time, 15 and 16, I'll read from there. Galatians 1, 15 and 16. But then God called me, Paul speaking, but then God called me by his grace and in love. He chose me from death to be his. But then God called me by his grace and in love, he chose me. God's grace unveils his son in me, so I will proclaim him to the new Jewish people of the world. After I had this encounter, I kept it a secret for some time. When God said to me, you are looking for a savior, I have raised you as one. That what you are looking for is already in you. That means, imagine, or in the emergence of savior starts from consciously knowing that is the savior inside of us. That the Savior is Christ in us. Paul said that the grace of God has unveiled the Savior within us. That I may proclaim him among the Jewish people. And the point is, how do we emerge? How? Because if we keep on speaking grammar without showing us how, 
We we'll keep on seeing the scriptures, keep on seeing images without knowing how. Today I'm going to talk about how to emerge as saviors. Things have been happening since Thursday, Friday, the birth of a savior, the praying savior, and everything. Everything is in line. Praise Master Jesus. Go with me. Matthew 6, verse 33. How? Number one. How do we emerge as saviors? Matthew 6, verse 33. Matthew 6, verse 33. Is in his I will read from my heart. Praise Master Jesus. Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other thing will be added unto you because they were complaining, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? What shall we wear? Jesus said, no. That the first thing you should do is first seek. If you read the Passion Translation, it says, above all things, pursue that the kingdom within you will be kind of fine expression. And that kingdom is not a king. That kingdom is a person. That means, one of the ways of the first thing to do to emerge as a savior is to engage the kingdom that is within you. God's kingdom realm. If you go to Luke 17 verse 21, the Bible says that the kingdom of the God is not by, is not on the mountain, is not in a place, is not in a certain location. That kingdom is already expanding within you. In other words, as you seek the expansion of the kingdom within you, that Christ in us will begin to manifest in and through us. The Bible says something will start happening to our life and start happening to our person. That everything that is the rule of God within us will begin to find expression outside of us. If you read Luke 9, 27 and 28, media, Luke 9, 27 and 28, Jesus said, seek first. Seek first. That means in all above all things. You should do what? Seek what? First. That word seek means pursue. As just pursue the expansion of the kingdom that is already within you. Look now. To send my truth it. But I promise you this. There are some of you standing here right now who will not die until you have experienced the presence and the power of God's kingdom realm. To it. It now explain to us that power and the presence of God's kingdom realm. Something is there. Eight days later, Jesus took Peter, John, 29, okay, Peter, John, Jacob, and climbed a high mountain to pray. Yes. He prayed. That means one of the ways to emerge is to pray. What does he pray? He prayed. His face began to glow until a blinding glory streamed from him. Kingdom of God is it within you? Christ is it within you? That is the secret first. How? As you pray that God's kingdom realm within me is expanding within and streaming out of me. What will happen is that everything that is left of the kingdom world, as it starts emanating out of you, will bring them under divine rule and under divine order. Praise Master Jesus. The first thing to do is to engage the kingdom that is within you. That kingdom is a person. That kingdom is a person of Christ. How? How does that? As you pray, I pray that the God's kingdom realm is already expanding within me, emanating out of me and around me. The more we consistently pray that the kingdom within us, or meditate, that the kingdom within us will begin to expand within us and emanate out of us. It will bring us into the manifestation of the rule of God. In other words, as a savior, as you speak, not just for yourself, as you stand in a place, any situation that is not in alignment with divine principle, the divine principle that is within you will bring them into divine alignment. And once they bring them into divine alignment, there's going to be a savior experiences in that thing that you spoke into. Praise Master Jesus. I don't care whether you are having an uncanny death in your family. There is a kingdom of life within you. That kingdom does not recognize death. It recognizes only life. The more I pray that God's kingdom realm is expanding within me, God's kingdom realm is emanating out of me. The rule of abundance of life will emanate so much around us that anything that is called premature death will be swallowed up and replaced with abundance of life. Praise Master Jesus. In other words, as I emerge as a savior, the first thing says is to what? Seek the kingdom what? Within us. The kingdom is not what we do, the kingdom is who we are. Christ is in you, the kingdom is within you. Praise Master Jesus. Jesus is not just an person. Jesus is not this, not just the savior. Jesus is not just an environment. Jesus is also a transportation device. 
In other words, he loses from point A to point B. I don't care what it is. Have you seen a bowl of water that is a sugar inside of it? Maybe a bucket of sugar inside of it. Then a teaspoon of a salt. If you mix it together, what you end up tasting? Sugar, sugar. Why? Because we are one with him. Anything that is looking that is not expression of God's kingdom realm around your life or within your life or around your family, the more we pray that the kingdom within us expands, the more everything around us we align with the divine principle. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. If you read that nine, Luke 9, verse 28, it said his face began to change. In other words, the kingdom realm within us empowers us that our physical appearance will start changing. Imagine that you are standing before the kidnapper or before a sister that you don't even understand. The, your appearance will become somebody else or something else and a different image. Now they'll be looking at you with the picture they sent me. As they are looking at you, they are seeing a different image. What is the image I just seen? The image of light that is coming out of you. They will look at you, they will recognize the neck again, they will recognize light. Because as the picture they were sent to go and had, uh, take a neck, they will only see light, light and Praise Master Jesus. In other words, as I emerge as a savior, the first thing we should do is what? Seek first. What? The kingdom. How do we seek? Pray that the kingdom within you will expand within you and expand outside of your life. Praise Master Jesus. Something I put some time ago, when they were about to have my first son, my first child, they, my wife said to me that a strange personality came to her and said to her, near dear drum, near my mom care me because my mother buried six of my siblings. Six of my siblings died. And because of it, I said, Ginger drum, near my mom care me. And we said, yeah, we are a month ago on the TV, like it and Instagram, no, it won't happen again. That time I did not know. Now I know it won't happen. Go and tell that spirit, I will pray about it. And it was not true. I will not pray about it. And this moment, and this has a mess. It's not possible. I said, go and go and do your thing. Why the way she was in the labor room trying to deliver? I said, push. I said, you can't do yourself. Push. You can't do yourself. At one split second, she said she was lying on that place. Suddenly, so head me behind her, talking in tongues. Banasi, Kariyalarua, Kititituwa, Nisembanata. A force came to our system, and the child came out on his own accord. This is a dimension my mom does not have. But I have this dimension because anywhere I am, anywhere she is, my spirit is with her. Paul says, as together, my spirit will be among you. Is Jesus omnipresent? Is Jesus omnipotent? Is Jesus omniscient? Are you one with him? That means you and I are omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient. Anywhere Jesus is, my inner man is there, present and available. I don't need to be there physically. As long as you gather, I am there in your midst. This is an attribute of Christ what? in us. Why? The kingdom of God is not a person. The kingdom of God is also a transportative device. So, First Corinthians 15 verse 10. First Corinthians 15 verse 10. First. But God, amazing grace, has made me who I am. That means grace is a maker. God, amazing grace, has Paul talking, made me who I am. And his grace to me was not fruitless. In fact, I work harder that all the rest yet not in my own strength. That means the grace of God is a strengthener. But God, for his empowering grace, is poured out upon what? Upon me. In other words, a matching of saviors go for the empowerment of graces. In another matter, go for what? Empowerment of what? Graces. If one is working, Bible says there are many manifold, many sided of God's grace. Go for what? Many sided of God's what? Grace. Bible says in Hebrews 5 verse 16, come boldly to the throne of grace and receive mercy and discover mercy, discover grace, receive mercy and discover grace to help in the time of need. If Bible says come to the throne of grace and we are considered as one with him, which other throne is that we tell us to come to? 
Hello. Come to the throne is grace. And we are considered as the one with him. Which other throne is he telling us to come to? The answer is found in Colossians 3 verse 1 and 2. What is said, Christ's resurrection is my resurrection. But relocate your mind on the things above. We will say, relocate your mental ability and flood your thoughts with the true real realities where Christ is seated. In other words, if Christ is in you and Christ is the fullness of God and the fullness of God's grace is inside of you, and that is out of his fullness you receive what? Grace upon what? Grace. Hello. Out of his fullness you receive grace for what? Upon what? Grace. And that throne is, in other words, use your imagination and fix your gaze in the throne that sits inside of you. And as you fix your gaze on the throne that sits inside of you, that is said, discover anyone you need to solve the problem. If you are experiencing a delay, stop saying God, stop that delay. Simple, go to the throne of grace inside of you. The Lord of grace of supernatural spirit. Are you getting what I'm saying? How do you do it? In your imagination, see that throne that is coming out of you. How do you see it? Because many of you might be arguing, have I seen the throne of God? That said, his throne is not light. First Timothy 2, 6 6 and 16. He is the Lord that dwells in a light. That no man can do what? That no man can do what? I don't need to approach it. I am seated with him in that light. Praise Master Jesus. I don't need to approach that light because that word, I, that word man, means an unregenerated man. I am not a man, so to say. He that is one of the flesh is what? He that is one of the flesh is what? Flesh. He that is one of the spirit is what? I am born of the spirit. That means I don't need to approach that throne. I am considered as one in that throne, in the midst of that light. Praise Master Jesus. Are you still light? Use your imagination and see this light coming out of the brain. Lakusa, Kapiti, Kashura, Kapiti. I can know the grace of supernatural spirit. Loretta, Pachuli. Are you just what I'm saying? Insist that this must work. The only thing that if you have a second option, it will not work. But if you actually that this must work, it will start working. So one degree of expression to a higher degree of expression to a higher degree of expression in a mighty name of Jesus. That's how Celsius image. First, pray that the kingdom within you will come to expand within and outside of you. Two, go for the environment of graces in every area that you are lacking. Praise Mr. Jesus. Some time ago, there were a group of people that were not married. They were asked to me, pray for me, pray for me. I knew if I start praying, one day I was praying, in my street, in front of myself, my brother had You see, God, what is this? I said, pick a seed and go and meet him. I picked a seed. I said, come here, man. I said, my mind. I went. He said, we have a salon and we do. Now, this time, I should say, I should meet you. It is not the seed that works. It is the sense of value that works. Hello. It is not the seed that does what? It is the sense of value for the carrier of the option that works. That works. I place it in my heart. I say, in turn. And today, this is happening. Emergence of what? Saviors. Go for empowerment of the graces that is already inside of you. They are potential within you. They are not connected in oppression. Master Jesus. Read for me Galatians 2, verse 20. Galatians 2, verse 20. My old identity has been brought crucified with Messiah and no longer lives. So the nails of his cross crucified me with him. And now the essence of new life is no longer mine. The fancy, so the anointed one lives his life through me. Through me. We live in union as what? One. Are we one with the Lord? Eh? Say with your mother, say, I am living in union experiences with the glorious Christ with me. I am living in union experiences with the glorious Christ with me. As the anointed one lives his life through me. That means his eyes are my eyes. It's still not true. His voice is what? My voice. His feet is what? Why? The anointed one lives his life through what? Through me. In other words, 
How to sense your image by living in the experiences of the glorious Christ within us that the glorious Christ will live his life what through us? How? The way I'm saying it, I am living in human experiences with the glorious Christ within me. As the anointed one lives his life through me, my hands are his hands, my eyes are his eyes, my head is his head, my mind is not my mind. That means everything he is is now what is flowing out of me. Praise Master Jesus. That is how Savior's amen. That living in human experience with the glorious Christ, who is the Savior, that he lives his own life through you. The more he lives his life through you, the more you function in your Saviorship in every situation you find yourself. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying? If Christ in you, if Christ in you, it is shock. This is a better part than Stop being afraid. The glorious Christ inside of you. In Colossians 1 18 19, the Bible says, He pleases the Father in Him. Oh, that's some. Oh, she let the anointing Christ in the Chamber Eh? That is, of the noble children that is in Christ is already sitting inside of you. Then why are you afraid? I am living in union experiences with the glorious Christ within me as the anointed one lives his life through me in full body form. Praise the Lord Jesus. The more the anointed one lives his life through you, the more the things that you cry will begin to cry and see you and they run away. When they devote a child of three years, what a claim or that or that or that, you will end up being up and up with you. Me, the woman, I do not see that she has, she has done this because I'm a savior. Me, that child, I am such a little, I'm a long one, never. In my young year, man, the thing that I'm man, as I was looking at that child, I can see my robot, she did that child, no, you want to play about it because Jesus said, What I see my father do, I do what. What I hear my father say, I do what I say. In the day I come up, I come to the day I come up. I say, Father, thank you. In God, He said, "Sir, you know, 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 you know." When she went home on the seventh day, how old the child are? What child are? Do you know what they call the child? The child you don't teach your mama. The day I come to work, two foot first leg, two foot second leg, and they come to work. The anointed one lives his life where? To me. That is the house of your faith. The Savior, the anointed one, lives his life where? To me. This is Mr. Jesus. That means, if the anointed one, everything are naked and open before him, that means everything are naked and open before who? If the anointed one, Jesus, that everything are naked and open before you, that means before you, everything are what? Naked and open what? Before you. Say to yourself, I am the Savior. The anointed one lives his life through me. You have to respond by saying this consistently. You hear? You know, like I said, you hear? The anointed one is living his life through me. Zabaki. They are looking at you. They might be looking at you because some can't see you. Can I only mention you instead of your man? Eh? Anybody in Christ? I'm an Arabian. Another. Last time for me, I call it. I know, man. The the King of Glory is living his life consciously, intelligently, and perfectly through us. Is he in God? I am in him. Praise Master Jesus. In other words, seek the first the kingdom, pray that the kingdom will get to expand within and through. Go for the empowerment of the grace of God that is functional in every area that you are lacking in life. Tell me that you live in union, I am living in union with the glorious Christ within you. The anointed one lives his life where? To me. The anointed one lives his life where? To me. Praise Master Jesus. Oh, but when I got to say, I am the Savior. I am a savior. I am manifesting everywhere on the face of the earth. When they brought the case to me, a young man that went to Libya, they arrested him in Libya by Hogan Avestas. And they were planning to kill the young man. And uh, they are fixed the date where they will kill the young man. And the case brought the matter. 
My voice is his voice. His voice is my voice. His words are my words. Bible says in his words of utterance is set to the top, to the even to the top of the heart of the nations, which is of the whole nations. The anointed one is inside of me. I had listed that and she left. That night, we didn't know those guys in check. At the morning, now leaving that mother will take care of herself. All of them came into that place and all of them went to sleep. He puts Adam to where? Sleep. He puts Abraham to what? Sleep. The kidnappers God put them into what? Sleep. All of them went to sleep. As they were sleeping, the guy noticed that everything that he came out of his loose, he got back loose. He stood up, lose himself, lose the four of them, and first of them walked back to without lying. Remember us, the anointed one lives his life with to me. Yes, Master Jesus. That is how soldiers are emerged. That we live in union with the anointed one and his life is sought through us. Read for me. John 5, 19 to 20. John 5, 19 to 20. So Jesus said, I speak to you, I must do it. Don't it? The son is not able to do anything from himself or through my own initiative. I only do the works that I see the father do what? Do it. So the son does the same works as his father. Pay attention. I ask you a question. In the message in the world, who do you see that is doing it that you are, you are acting about? In Jesus said, I cannot. Do anything of my own, own initiative. I only do what I see my father do what? Uh, I only see what, do what my father does what? That means when he, met, when he brought back the child of the widows of men, he actually saw the father come along the casket, touch the casket, and the child came back to life. How does the same person match? By seeing what the father is doing, hearing what the father is saying, and act the same thing out, you have the same results. Master Jesus. Don't say you don't see in the spirit, it's not true. Bible said, He that is born of the spirit is what? Born into the kingdom. Shall see what? See in the kingdom. Are you born again? You are a seer in the kingdom. Are you born again? Are you born from above? Bible said, We see in the kingdom. Do you have Christ in you? The seer is sitting inside of you. He wants to see through your eyes. This Master Jesus, how do I cultivate this expression to become a functionality in my life? One, Ephesians 1, 17 and 18, 19. Ephesians 1, 17, 18, 19. Ephesians 1, 17, 18, 19. The emergence of saviors. I pray, that means it's a kind of prayer. I pray. That the Father of glory, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, will impart to me the riches of the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation to know Him through your deeply intimacy with Him. That means this prayer opens us up to know Him through deeply intimacy. Knowing Him, Daniel made a statement in Daniel 10, 11, verse 2. Those that know their God shall be strong, and they will do what? Exploit. That means the experiential knowledge of Christ in us will become a reality. That as we know the King of glory that sees out of us, that means that we shall be strengthened. And as we are strengthened, we do what? We do what? Great what? Exploit. Verse 18. I pray. 18 now. I pray again that the light of God will illuminate the eyes of your imagination. Flooding you with light until you experience the full revelation of the hope of his calling. That is the wealth of God's glorious inheritance that he finds in us, the Holy One. Christ in us is the inheritance of the King of Glory instead of us. Verse 19. I pray that 
when we continually experience the immeasurable greatness of God's power made available to you through faith, then our lives will be an advertisement of this immense power as it works through what? Through me. In other words, how do such as events pray Ephesians 1, 17, 18, 19 consistently? You will have the revelation knowledge of the King of Glory 1, which is setting you up to do exploits. Two, you, your eyes of your imagination will be flooded with light, that you might know the glorious inheritance of the King of Glory that sits of us. Three, that you will begin to experience the imaginable greatness of His power towards us who believe. And that said, then our lives. We be an advertisement of this immense power as it works through us. This is how sages emerge. Praise Master of Jesus. Stop praying problems, pray answers. And the more you pray this prayer, God will show you answers that you will respond to. As you respond to answers, you will have answers experientially in your life and in your family and everything. Hey, hey, you can see with your eyes, you can see with your body, you can see with your nose, you can see with your face, you can see with your six faculties and your physical body. As you at any time, suddenly you are cooking in your kitchen. Oh, no, no, you will never be able to do it again. As it happens to you. Eh? And of course, I'm not going to be able to do it again. Huh? It's not as much as I don't know. It is not that you are in the way. It is even there was somebody else that needs to be corrected by the Spirit of God. But now, what if you went to it? And that's how I am. What do you do, Lord? As I pray, I yield this emotion to you. When you know where you are, as I pray in the Holy Ghost, when you know where this emotion, the love of God and the joy of the King of Glory is a way to start me. As you pray, that thing that you're sensing your emotion will lift up. And once you lift up, that person's emotions has been corrected. And that person, everything will be aligned with the divine principle. This is how scriptures emerge. Bless Master Jesus. Touch another, say, I am a savior. Say, I am a savior. I am a savior. Have you at any time you bypass somebody you, or a sister? You approach a sister in a common kingdom. Maybe you went out on evangelism. You want to talk to somebody. Suddenly, after you know about your boss, you come back Consistently, <laughs> As we see our father or what he does, we do the same thing in life manner. As we do the same thing in life manner, we have the kind of result Jesus had. Praise Master Jesus. Stop limiting yourself. You are not a failure. You can see with your body. You can see with your emotions. You can see with your tongue. The six faculties of a physical body. God flows through them. Why? The anointed one lives his life through who? Through me. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. One day they brought a woman. A woman came to fellowship. While the fellowship was going on, the woman died in the fellowship. And the people know me, see a woman, I want to know this and look at him. He said, I approached the woman. Let's see how can I get to go. Let's see how can I go. I'll be able to go. The first thing that happens to me, I'll be able to go. I'll be able to go. I'll be able to go. My age is now a little bit faster. But at that point, I quiet myself. It was the anointed one who used his life to me. It's the anointed one who used his life to me. Jesus, I'm not going to be able to use the man. What do I do? Because this woman, in the, oh, I want to enjoy all the fellowship, one in the fellowship. What are you doing about this matter? As I was looking at the woman, Bible said in Isaiah 30 to 22, that you will hear the voice of the King of God behind you telling you what to do. The King of God that lives his life through me said, So no, 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 no,
Let's not seek Jesus. Set yourself. I have a savior. Hey, if I tell you what I passed through in my life, of you don't know my But today, I am now a savior in next in the work of the Spirit of Christ, helping others to experience the freedom and rest I'm experiencing. Set yourself, I am a savior. I am a savior. The answer today, I'll be manifesting my saviorship everywhere I go because the savior needs his life through me. Praise Mr. Jesus. Praise Mr. How else are we emerge as saviors? Read for me Ephesians 2 verse 6. Ephesians 2 verse 6. How else are we emerge as saviors? One, seek the kingdom. In other words, pursue the kingdom that the kingdom within you will expand, within you, flows out of you. Two, go for the empowering graces in every area that you are finding witness. Three, that is said, what the King of Glory sees, I see. In other words, go for elevated sight of Christ in you. So, that the glorious God, the glorious Christ, the anointed one, leads his life to me. Now, what else? Ephesians 2 verse 6. He raised us up with Christ, one, the exalted one. And we ascended with him into the glorious perfection. We are not trying to ascend. We ascended over ladder. Someone that is ahead of us is ascending. We are living in a ascended state. I am not trying to ascend. I am already there. First to first with the Messiah. And the authority of the heavenly realm. So, pay attention. So, we now, now, consider as one with Christ. Hey, how does Sergius emerge? Practice your consideredness with Christ. How? I am. In your imagination, see yourself sitting in light. I am considered as one with a glorious Christ. I am considered as one with a glorious Christ. I am. The more you practice your considerateness, every authority that flows in and through the Messiah will begin to find access in and through you. In other words, anything that is naked and open before the Messiah will be open and naked before you. Before you. This is how Savior's image. Hey, 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 hey. This is the first Corinthians 2 verse 32. First Corinthians 2 verse 32. Pay attention, there is something there. First Corinthians 2 verse 32. 21 and 22. So, don't be proud of your allegiance to any First, first Peter 3, 21 and 22, sorry. First Peter 3, 21 and 22. First Peter 3, this is a prophetic picture of the emotion that now says you. Not a betting of the physical world, but rather the response of a good conscience before God. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, verse 22, that I'm going to, yes. Who is now in heaven at the place of supreme authority next to God? The very powers of heaven, pay attention, the very powers of heaven, including every angel and authority, now yield in submission to him. Who are they yielding in submission to? Who are they yielding in submission to? Jesus. And God said, I am considered as one with him. That means, when I am considered with him, the angelic forces are yielding to the submission to my authority and my voice. Praise Master Jesus. The forces of life is responding to you. Why? You are considered as one with who? With Jesus. Set yourself I am considered as one with a glorious Christ. I am considered as one with a glorious Christ. That the forces of life are subject to my instructions. That the forces of life are subject to my instructions. This is how Jesus emerge. How? By practicing the consistentness. So, to me, like I said, on a little bit of a See, then there's no one. Because most of us have, I don't know. No, I'm going to do it. 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 nonsense. We are already consistent with Christ as what? As one. Practice your consistentness. The things that was pursuing you will see you and run away. Why? Because the forces of life that is backing the Messiah will start backing you and back your own trust. Set yourself and consider as one with the Messiah. 
I am considered as man with the Messiah. But the forces of life are obedient to my voice. They are not obedient to your voice because your face is wonderful. They are obedient to your to your voice because the glorious one is living inside of us. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. One day a woman bought the land. Somebody collected it. She bought the second one, and the person collected it. She bought the third one, and the person collected it. Or when you back, when I said she looked at the lawyer kept the law. Out of fear, she went and started building on the third land. The guy attacked her because when you came on government of every state, went thrown all the way up to the level, throwing her down to foundation level. The matter came to me. I said, Don't worry. She said, You do really do an eye. Don't have a bomb, can't play child food. This thing happened on the 23rd of December. I gave an instruction, but a force of life was standing in that land. Well, look, we are saying, Don't worry, clap all time now. I bad okay on 27th. That guy in Azerbaijan, I don't know what I say. I'm going to just three days. Because no one can keep bro. No one can keep it. I'm not going to don't worry. We have a little shit. We're not going to do it. I'm The second person went to the hospital. I'm not going to do it. So now I'm going to do it. 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 That's how we recover the three lands that woman bought. The savior ship of the believers are manifesting everywhere. Talk to your neighbor. That our savior ship is doing what? Manifesting everywhere. Praise Master Jesus. Say to yourself, I am a savior. I am a savior. Happening everywhere. I am a savior. Happening here? Everywhere. I am what? A savior. Happening here? Everywhere. Stop being afraid. They are not going to lose his life through me. Just what is it? You may see me. They are not going to lose his life through me. They are not going to lose his life through me. You may not lose it. They are not going to lose his life through me. The kingdom of God is expanding within and through me. You may, you may, you may, you may have a break. They are not going to lose his life through me. The kingdom of God, the God's kingdom realm, is expanding within and through me. Say, 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 say. The more you do it, the king of things that lives out of us, the kind of an expression in and through you, stand like this.